Former U.S. President George W. Bush has canceled a visit to Switzerland, citing security concerns. It came after human rights groups threatened protest and called on the Swiss government to detain Bush for authorizing the torture of suspected terrorists. Journalist Afshin Ritanzi believes it's unlikely Bush will be held to account by an international court. My understanding is the Centre for Constitutional Rights has a two and a half thousand page uh, document they're releasing in the next 24 hours in Geneva. But it's difficult to know where to start with George W. Bush because it's an entire cadre of people. It's Dick Cheney, it's Donald Rumsfeld, it's Dick Cheney's chief of staff. We now have Rumsfeld's memoirs. This is about illegal wars and so on. But this case, I think, centers around two individuals in particular, one of whom I've uh, met, a uh, cameraman for a Qatari uh, satellite TV channel who was incarcerated in Guantanamo for years. And we mustn't forget, 48-year-old died uh, a few days ago uh, after being in Guantanamo for nine years, also without charge, of course, and, uh, and tortured. I think international law has proved uh, pretty useless when it comes to torture. Will any of these come to pass to actually indict all these people, including, of course, Tony Blair here in, in Britain? Very doubtful. And the Hague won't touch the people that really are responsible for torture on such a major scale and for training torturers at their School of America's and of course, we must remember that the Obama administration still has Guantanamo open. So uh, people are being tortured to this day.